Well, welcome back. Calling all writers. So you're a local author interested in submitting your work for consideration for the Southern Author Expo. Well, we have Rachel and Abinant here to tell us this morning about the Greenville County Library and how you can join that expo and submit your work. Rachel, always good to see you. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. We always love, we never know what Rachel's hair is going to look uh -huh. like. It's always it's going to so be fun. fun. <laughs> Today we're getting all the mermaid <laughs> vibes, which is really fun. But it matches the outfit. I like yeah. how you okay. played Perfect. the outfit around. I know. <laughs> Shoes that's up, shoes that's other yeah. level when you can coordinate your hair to the outfit to the shoes. Yes. It's a whole nother level. <laughs> a lot of you. we have a lot of folks that watch this that may be authors and have books that they want to get out there, and this author expo is the perfect way to do it. Yes, absolutely. If you're a local author or you're writing about the upstate, this is a wonderful opportunity. As long as you're published and you can be self-published, that counts too, okay. um, then submit your work so you can be featured at the wonderful Expo in January. When you tell people to submit work, what do they have to submit? So a couple of writing samples and then just an application that talks about their professional website, um, their uh, social media presence, that sort of thing. And some people are probably like, oh, there are other people that are far more quali qualified for this. How, how important is it for folks that may have, you know, they don't have like, you know, they're not on Oprah's book list or anything like that. It is important to have some of these southern regional authors uh, in the expo. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It's a way to lift up the people right here in our backyard who are writing. It's a great way to get exposure because a lot of us don't have connections to the larger publishing houses. Mm -hmm. So at, at a situation like this where there's so many authors and people can just walk from table to table, they might get to experience an author they never would have tried mm -hmm. before. Will they be able to sell some of their books there as well? Absolutely. They can sell their books. They can sign their books. It's a great way to have a little meet and greet with some of these fun authors. I love What's that. What's crazy about like a good author that really captivated because like everybody could probably have some kind of story to tell you know what I mean like if we all sat down we could probably mm -hmm. think of some kind of story but it's all the details yeah. and so that maybe not even have to do with the story but it makes the story and it's like how do they know so much about World War I <laughs> or you know what I mean right. like or whatever well a lot of folks wind up researching at the library to learn all of those mm -hmm. facts so it's a, it's a wonderful look how it all comes together <laughs> right. and sometimes you will buy a book just because your interaction with the author like yeah. sometimes True. you don't even know anything about mm -hmm. the book, but that engagement with the author about what they're interested in, why they wrote the book, you're like, I'm just going to buy this book and hopefully it's good. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but, you just want to support them. But and the great thing dream. about it is you guys have, would, would have already curated the list. That's right. So you know that they're, they're, they're legit when they made it to this. And um, the yeah. expo doesn't happen until January, but you want right. people that are interested in being featured to be uh, to do those submissions now. Yes, apply right now. That way we can look through all the applications, get everyone confirmed before the big expo in January. I love it. You said they either have to be from the upstate or writing about. Writing about the upstate. They can be from the southeastern U.S. Okay. So also, if any of you know someone who's a writer, please do. Nudge them. Uh, yes, <laughs> encourage them. Get out there. Put your name out there. Why not? <laughs> How long do we have to submit? You have um, just three weeks, so until August 22nd. So, so get, get it on done. It. Yes. So get it in, and then that's going to be a great time because you're going to be around a lot of like-minded people that love to read. They that's love right. this area. Make some connections. Could be the next project. You there. never know yeah. when you're going to collaborate with another author for another project. So that's uh -huh. right. I'm sure that's going to happen. Yes. Any big things happening at the library that we need to know about? This, you guys have such a list of things all the time. So. so much going on always and of course lots of activities for kids and teens um, as well as adults of course thinking about back to school uh -huh. you'll want to check out some of those programs that we have coming up our new event guide will be out for September October very soon. Well so you know we'll out. be talking to you to figure out everything that's on yes. there. Thank you Ms. Rachel we Thank appreciate you, Rachel. it. Thank you so Greenville much. GreenvilleLibrary.org mm -hmm. has all the information that you need to know to, to check that out. 